So, today I'm doing some good old maintenance on the truck. What we're working on is my uh, 2017 Ram 3500. Um, this is a chassis cab truck. Um, we're going to be changing the transmission fluid and filter. So, things need it. You need your transmission fluid. Uh, I believe... I believe it's supposed to take nine or ten quarts. I'm not 100% sure on that, but basically I got a empty oil pan and I'm going to kind of measure it and check the dipstick as I go. Uh, the filter, that's the part number right there, that 6822 number. Um, tools need it. You need a three-quarter socket. That's to remove the bolt for the drain. Um, you need a 3 8 socket. I'm using this impact to get most of the bolts out. And then I'll use this hand ratchet to get the back bolts out. All right. Got this bolt loose. Hopefully, this doesn't make a huge mess. It all makes its way right into the oil. That's a pretty small hole. Maybe it won't come out too fast. We'll see. No, nope. there we go. Oh, let me get my hand out of the way. That's yeah, coming out pretty good. So that got to a sl pretty slow drip. I put the uh, bolt back in. So I was able to slide the drip pan out of the way. I have a little bit more room. And correction, earlier I said, I think I said a 3.8 socket. It's it's a 10 millimeter. I don't know how I, I mix that up, but it is a 10 millimeter socket. I'll try to get a good angle here, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm working with my left hand. Okay, that's on there. That's on there pretty good. Oh, yep. Okay, that one's coming out. Let's see, I'll just work down the line, loosen them up at first. Yeah, that one's coming out. I think there's three back here total. Hold on, bud. That's okay. So there's four bolts back here. Got them all loose. I'm just gonna use this extension by hand. The rest of them I'll take out with the uh, with the ratchet. Want to see how well this comes out here? Doesn't seem like it's coming out that great. It's uh, as it's working its way down, that socket's starting to get stuck a little bit. They sure didn't do you any favors by putting this so close together. I think they would have just. There we go. That's one. How is the people watching your video? Alright, the last bolt. Is that is. Work with my left hand here. I know there's still some fluid hiding in there. Oh, oh yep, yeah, there's that fluid. Hold on, bud. What'd you say? Which one is your first one? Uh, my ankle. Oh. Hold on. Alright, so I still have some dripping and there's a decent amount in this pan. It definitely did not all drain out. So good thing I kept this oil pan close. Because that was almost a little disastrous. 
So the filter is just three bolts. They're also 10 millimeter. There's one here, one here, and one right there. These are actually a little tighter than the uh, pan bolts were. Yeah, and they're not exactly the same either. They have uh, a little bit more threads, you can see. three kind of just shimmy it right out of this hole where it sits in oh ho, 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 ho. I wasn't expecting that I guess I should have been oh I guess I'm gonna be purple power in the driveway well yeah I made a mess bud I made a mess yeah, I got it on the camera too. Was it like satisfying? No, it was the opposite of satisfying. It was dissatisfying. So yeah, that's what you do. Jeez. Well, you guys probably saw I made a pretty big mess. It's unfortunate because it was going pretty good. But what are you going to do? I got the... Uh, pan cleaned out I did it just with the shop towels clean those magnets off real good um, I left the gasket on I didn't want to peel it off that was another thing I don't think I said it earlier um, I bought another gasket um, just in case there was a problem with this one but these gaskets are reusable well now that I'm saying this I'm looking at it right there you see that it looks like there's a couple little brittle spots you know what I'm gonna replace the gasket the gasket can only go on one way if you notice this corner right here is the bolt holes are a lot closer together same thing with down here so it can only go on one way and you got this tab to kind of tell you Well, there it is. New filters in, pans back on with a new gasket. Not going to lie, it's a little bit more of a pain than I thought it was going to be. I haven't, I haven't done a transmission fluid change in a long time. And uh, I'm glad I don't have to do it often. Let's just say that. These bolts back here, they come out a lot easier than they go back in. What you have to do, I'm trying to explain this to the way it makes the most sense. Um, same way I took them off. I put the bolt in the socket, then brought it up through here and slid it into the hole. The problem is, you know, the hole's straight up and down. The bolt is kind of cocked on an angle a little bit. So what I had to do is I used a long screwdriver and I came from this side. And so I pointed the screwdriver this way and i would guide the tip of the bolt into the hole and then start turning the end ones here on this end and in that corner they weren't bad but the two middle ones i mean they probably took me like easily 10 minutes each you know so it it's not it's not that simple i've heard guys saying they actually took out the cross member to do it um I wouldn't go that far. I don't think it was that hard to the point where I would remove the cross member. Um, but just be prepared. You know, you need some patience to get them. Uh, Alright, here it is. Probably the most important part. When you replace the filter and the fluid. Alright, if you just do the fluid only, this doesn't apply. You could When you do the fluid only, you drain it, you fill, and, and you're good. When you do the filter... Uh, what happens is, as you saw, when I pulled that filter out, 
there is fluid behind there and that's that's how you know the fluid gets sucked through the filter so what happens is when you first start it back up after I put those eight quarts in there um, immediately the check engine light came on and then I didn't bother checking the code because I was expecting that to happen um, and if if I would have went to to shift it in the gear it would have been a really harsh shift because there wouldn't have been any pressure yet built up inside the transmission so what you have to do is you got to cycle it on and off uh, they say about six times for me on the fifth try the check engine light went out um, and then at that point I put it in the reverse it shift shifted fine went in the drive shifted fine so I was like okay we're good I put it back in park I checked the fluid to see where it's at um, I think I mentioned already I, I started off with putting uh, two gallons in and uh, that was uh, close to about what I put out I mean I, I filled up about two of those gallons and then as you saw I spilled some on the driveway so I don't know how much that was but it was some more so I put two gallons in I took it for a drive I let it get up to about 160 degrees you know the dipstick says hot is considered 167 um, but I got it to 160 you know I drove it for a little while I wasn't gonna drive for too long or hook a trailer up nothing like that um, I came back and you check it when it's idling in park try to be on a flat ground and uh, I was I was between the hot and the cold mark so I knew I needed to add some more so I added it about a quart um, so I'm at nine quarts now I drove around the block came back let it idle for a little bit checked it again and right now I'm kind of like midway in the uh, in the 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 cross marks for the hot so I know I'm about there I'm gonna keep the transmission fluid in the truck and I'll be towing a trailer come Monday um, so by the time I drive to the first gas station uh, or you know maybe I'll stop somewhere right away as soon as I see it get up to that you know like 170 mark um, and I, I'll check it if I need to add any I will but I think I'll be pretty close because I think the dealer told me it was 9.7 or something was supposed to be. You know, but you don't always get it all out anyway. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please check out some more of my videos. I'm, I'm going to keep these videos coming. I'm always tinkering with something. I have another 3,500 there, um, you know, that I do maintenance on and, and other stuff. And I got the equipment. And bobcat and uh, excavator i work on all this stuff myself so i'm always tinkering with things i'm going to try to get as many videos out there and hopefully help some people you know you could see things like uh all that fluid that was on the other side of the filter now now you know um so you don't have to make a mess in your driveway but anyways please don't forget to like the video and uh subscribe to my channel